welcome you to the next video of this uh, well test interpretation course and in this video what I'm going to do is basically discuss regarding the types of well test now let me recall some important stuff that uh, I told you in my last video the first point is that in well testing we provide input and we observe the output now what is meant here is that uh, basically in through an input what we are doing is that we are creating a disturbance in the reservoir system and uh, that disturbance is what the system translates into the pressure response and the pressure response is what we are observing and what we are no noting down so creating the disturbance is under our control and the pressure response is directly related to the type of input we provided as well as the system properties and uh, in well testing what happens is that uh, the input that we provide is in the form of an alteration in rate and what is meant by an alteration in rate is that uh, we can either control the production rate and uh, or we can um, control the injection rates if applicable now the point that I would like to emphasize is that input is the parameter that is under our control whereas output is dependent upon system and input input that is an alteration in the flow rate is something that we are controlling we are uh, generating and pressure response is merely a reflection of what we are providing to and uh, as an input to the system and the system properties that are translating that input to a pressure response so this is something that you uh, must be knowing quite well now the types of well test there is drawdown test build up test injection test fall off test drill stem test and interference test and a drawdown test what happens is that we start flowing a well that is initially shut in static and stable the flow rate is supposed to be constant let us see how this test is represented on the pressure versus elapsed time diagram and rate versus elapsed time diagram initially the well is shut in as mentioned by the definition of the test the, when the well is shut in the pressure is constant and at this particular moment in time we decided that we have to flow the well and the moment we start flowing the well the pressure start declining this is the input that we are providing that we are actually uh, changing the rate the production rate that was initially zero and what we are doing is that we are uh, uh, increasing its value to some suitable value and this input basically uh, this was the input and this is basically reflected as a decline in pressure and this is the pressure response on the rate versus elapsed time diagram what happens is that um, initially the well was the well was shut in so there is no rate the rate is zero and um, at this particular time we provided the input that was uh, we altered the production rate and uh, the flow rate increases to a certain value and becomes constant as this is an assumption of the test now advantages and disadvantages this test is suitable for reservoir knowing the reservoir limits this is because it takes a long time to conduct this test and uh, in order to know the reservoir limits we need quite some time and uh, in as the time is long what happens is that uh, the fluctuation in the flow rate is minimized due to the huge amount of data where that we have and uh, more importantly all that is that uh, the traditional analysis methods that we are using in our well test interpretation are 
mo mostly developed for drawdown tests. The disadvantages of this test is that uh, it is difficult to flow a well at a constant rate. So if the well is not flowing at a constant rate, there will be some discrepancies in our calculations that we do on an assumption that the rate is constant. And in the the, the second uh, disadvantage of this test is that uh, well conditions may not be static or stable. And um, how I can say this is, be, is that uh, when the, if the well is newly drilled or is not shut in for a longer period of time, so we may achieve this kind of situation that the well conditions are not static or stable. The next test is the build-up test. In the build-up test, what happens is that a well that is uh, flowing initially at a constant rate is shut in and the downhole pressure is, is measured as the pressure builds up. The input here is basically an alteration in the production rate. In this case, uh, we drop the production rate to zero and the pressure response is basically the pressure build up. So the value is dependent upon the type of input as well as the system properties. On the pressure versus lapse time diagram, the first half of the curve basically represents the flowing period. The pressure is declining and at this particular moment, that is the pointed uh, area in the curve, what happens is that uh, we provide the input that is basically if we drop the rate to zero this create thus creating a disturbance and the the pressure start rising now on the rate versus elapsed time diagram what happens is that uh, initially as initially the well, well was not flowing so the flow rate uh, sorry as the well was flowing so what happens is that um, the rate was constant as we assumed and the moment we provide the input the pressure drops and uh, sorry the rate drops because the well is shut in now this kind of a situation happens on the rate versus time diagram the advantages and disadvantages are uh, the first one is that uh, constant flow rate condition is easily achieved as the flow rate is zero this is something uh, that we need because we are using the sim the same or similar analysis techniques that we use for drawdown testing and the assumptions in all those techniques is that there is constant flow rate condition so this is a big advantage of the build up test the disadvantage of the build-up tests are that it is uh, difficult to achieve constant rate production prior to shut-in and there is a production loss while the well is shut-in thus our company lose money whenever we conduct a production uh, build-up test. In an injection test what happens is that what we do basically we start injecting into an injection well that was initially shut in. Here the input that we are providing is in the form of change in the injection rates rather than the change in production rate as we do in uh, the product test. And um, this change in the um, injection rate causes or translates into the rise in the reservoir pressure as we are uh, basically injecting a fluid in the reservoir. On the diagrams, initially the, the reservoir is at initial pressure and at this particular moment we are providing the input that is we started to inject and the pressure starts increasing. On the QT diagram, here uh, at this particular moment, the injection rate was minimum and started to increase as uh, basically as because uh, it is constant because we are actually injecting and it is uh, much under our control rather than the production rate. In the advantages and disadvantages are is the first of all there is that is injection rates are easier to control than the production rates and uh, this means is that um, we have a much better control over our input. So the disadvantage of this test is that uh, we have to face complicated analysis if 
there are multi-flow effects and what happens is that these multi-flow effects arise when we inject a fluid that is not similar to the fluid that is present in our reservoir. For example, we inject water in, in, our, in our oil reservoir. So inevitably we have to face the multi-phase effects. So this will make our analysis quite difficult. In the fall of test, what happens is that we stop the injection and um, observe the pressure decline. So it is similar to the build-up test, but uh, the input is basically the alteration in the injection rate. And in this particular case, it is basically dropping the injection rate to zero. On the diagrams, this initial period shows injection period in which we are injecting a fluid in the well and at the peak of the curve at that particular time we provide the input by uh, stopping the injection and then the pressure starts declining on the QT diagram um, basically initially as the we, what we were doing was uh, injecting the fluid at a constant rate and at that particular moment what we did was uh, we stopped the injection so now the injection rates become zero here uh, injection rates are shown uh, below zero because we are injecting into the well rather than taking out of it so we are basically equating it with a negative sign you can understand it by comparing it with this idea so the advantages and disadvantages uh, the first one is the same is that injection rates are easier to control and then uh, another advantage advantage that it uh, has over a build up test or i can say its uh, closest cousin the build up test is that uh, the production loss is small as compared to the build up in build up test we shut in the well therefore we do not have any production from it whereas in the fall of test where we are stopping the injection so we will observe a decline in our uh, production but uh, we will not uh, see a complete um, stop of our production and uh, the disadvantage is that uh, multiphase effects make the analysis difficult in an interference test what happens is that one well is produced or shut in and the pressure response is measured at another well or wells and interference test helps us to characterize the reservoir over a large scale rather than a single well test therefore the bulk reservoir properties are easily um, um, found out by using interference testing rather than single well tests and uh, interference test is basically possible with any type of pressure disturbance that we can create either by draw in the manner of drawdown build up injection or fall off in drill stem test what happens is that uh, this test is basically first of all carried over a newly drilled well with the rig is still in place and we temporarily complete the well by the help of the tool and uh, we produce the well for a small period of time and then we shut in and then we again start producing and this time with for a longer period of time and then we shut in again and what basically what we are doing is that we are checking the well's potential or well potential with the help of this test as well as uh, we are sampling fluids so references basically in this video modern well test analysis by robert n horn of stanford university and uh, in the next lecture what we would be discussing is that uh, uh, we would continue our discussion that we left in our first video that was concerning the fundamentals of the well test so thank you very much for your time